A great horned owl that was badly injured in the Sayer wildfire is recovering tonight thanks to an alert firefighter and some dedicated animal lovers. Channel 4's Doug Kriegel is live in Mission Hills with the latest on that owl and the other animals that suffered so much through the weekend wildfires. Doug. That's right, Paul. The fires terrified and disoriented many animals who were burned by the flames and blinded by the smoke. The fires that drove thousands of people from their homes also scattered huge numbers of animals all over the area. This owl was found flying blind in the Silmar fire, its eyes full of ash and debris, lungs choking with smoke. Four similar owls were found dead in the Silmar fire. This one's being treated. Right now he's on oxygen. He's being treated for smoke inhalation. He's got smoke in his lungs, just as if a person would. Um, he's also getting IV fluids and a pain medication. Today, Dr. Attila Molnar was feeding the owl intravenously. He says the owl has a 50-50 chance of survival. There's quite a bit of inflammation going on in the lungs. So that's our biggest challenge to take care of the inflammation in the lungs, help this guy breathe. Point a motive for the killing. Out of the ashes, he's trying to make a comeback. Next, the recovery, recovery of Smokey Joe the owl. An owl that was badly injured in the recent Silmar fire is slowly recovering at an animal care facility in Woodland Hills. We get an update now from Channel 4's Doug Kriegel. Major fires in the Silmar area destroyed homes, disrupted people's lives, and also killed animals in the hills and forests above the San Fernando Valley. Four owls were found dead. But this great horned owl was saved by a firefighter in Silmar and taken to a safe haven. He was found flying blind because ash and debris had filled his eyes. His feathers had been burned. The owl's lungs were full of smoke. He could barely breathe. The veterinarian in Calabasas who examined him gave the owl only a 50-50 chance of surviving. But after a week of intravenous feeding and intense medical care, the owl began showing signs of recovery. He was probably uh, terribly frightened. He, uh, he had some burns. His eyelids were burnt off. He was suffering major smoke inhalation, um, fluid retention in the lungs. But uh, we got all that under control with oxygen and intravenous fluids. Now given the name Smokey Joe, he weighs less than two pounds. But look here, he's got a three-foot wingspan. Although portions of his wings were burned in the Silmar fire, Birds have difficulty in fires. They get disoriented by the blinding smoke, and it fills their lungs. Smokey Joe was given oxygen as part of his treatment. Owls in the wild always have a partner. Great horned owls mate for life. They can live up to 50 years, and so I'm sure he has a wife out there that's missing him. So we'll need to get him back before breeding season. Smokey Joe has been receiving all this tender, loving care from Brenda Vavarigos of Valley Wildlife Care, but next month she will return him to the wild. Uh, we basically take him as close to as where he came from as we can, um, usually within a three mile radius if we can get that close considering the fires. So thanks to Brenda, it looks as if Smokey Joe is going to make it. He's going to make it. He's gone from a 50% chance of survival to a 99.9% .9 chance. So it's all uphill for, from here for Smokey. Good for you, Brenda. Thank Doug you. Doug Kriegel, Channel 4 News, Woodland Hills. I love it. The Smokey Joe story. Here's Fritz. Isn't that a great story? Just awesome.